Welcome to Electron Lecture Online. Now let's talk about absolute values and opposites. Starting with absolute values, this is the basic definition. If you have a number and you put those little lines next to it, this means the absolute value of that number. Well, if the number is already greater than zero, if it's a positive number, then the absolute value of that number is simply the same number. For example, the absolute value of 5 is 5, the absolute value of 3 is 3, and the absolute value of 125 is 125. So when you take the absolute value of a positive quantity, nothing changes. But what happens when you take the absolute value of a negative number? What if a is less than 0? then the absolute value of that number is the negative of that number. Now this definition is a little bit confusing because you remember that the absolute value should give you a positive quantity. Well, if a is a negative number and you put a negative in front of it, that turns into a positive number again. But it's easier to see it in the example. If you take the absolute value of negative 4, you get a positive 4. If you take the absolute value of a negative 27, you get a positive 27. And if you take the absolute value of negative 135, you get a positive 135. The absolute value symbol simply takes a negative number and turns into a positive number. What about opposites? Well, when you find the opposite of a number, you simply change the sign. For example, if you have 5 and you want to find the opposite of 5, that's a negative 5. If you have the number 3 and you want to find the opposite of the number 3, you get a negative 3. And if you have a negative number, like the negative 1.5, you want to find the opposite of that number, you get a positive 1.5. And if you have a number like negative 4.25, you want to find the opposite of that number, it's a positive 4.25. Opposite simply means you change the sign. When you add two opposites, the result will always be zero. Because here you have the number 4 and the opposite of the number 4, which is a negative 4. If you add them together, you get zero. Here you have the number negative 3, and the opposite to the number negative 3, which is a positive 3, when you add them together, you get 0. Therefore, when you add opposites, you always get 0. The difficult part may come in when you're trying to simplify expressions that have absolute value symbols in them. For example, the absolute value of 9 minus 2, subtract from that the absolute value of 8 minus 6. The way you simplify that is you use the same order of operations like you did before, and absolute value symbols, you think of it as parentheses when it comes to the order of operations. So you do what's inside the absolute value symbols first before you do anything else. That means here you have 9 minus 2, that becomes 7, so you write this is equal to 7, the absolute value of 7, minus the absolute value of 8 minus 6, which is 2. Now you take the absolute value symbols away. If it's a negative 7, you turn to a positive 7. If it's a positive 7, it remains a positive 7. Same with the number 2, which means this can now be written as 7 minus 2. You simply remove the absolute value symbols, and if it's a negative sign, then you make it into a positive. If it's a positive, you leave it alone. So here we have 7 minus 2, which is equal to 5. Let's try our hand on this one. Here again, you want to work out what's inside the absolute value symbols first, and inside you find parentheses, so you always work from the inside out. Do what's inside the parentheses first. This becomes equal to 10 minus the absolute value of 7 minus 2 times 5 minus 3 is 2. You still continue to work from the inside out, so first you take care of this. This would become 10 minus the absolute value of 7 minus 2 times 2, which is 4, and now you work out what's inside the absolute value symbols first. 7 minus 4 is 3. This becomes 10 minus 7 minus 4, which is 3. Since 3 is a positive number, you could remove the absolute value symbols and nothing changes. This therefore becomes 10 minus 3, which is equal to 7. Finally, let's take a look at this one. Here we have absolute value symbols inside absolute value symbols. So you want to work out what these are first. You work from the inside out. So this becomes equal to 12 minus the absolute value of 9 minus 3 times 7 minus 5, which is 2. Now you can remove the absolute value symbol because this is a positive number. When you remove them, that remains positive. This becomes 12 minus the absolute value of 9 minus 3 times 2, which is 6. Now you work out what's inside here. This becomes 12 minus the absolute value of 9 minus 6, which is 3. 
Since it's a positive number, we can remove the absolute value symbol, leave the 3 alone. So this becomes equal to 12 minus 3, which is equal to 9. And that's how you simplify expressions that have absolute value symbols. Now you know and understand the concept of absolute values and the concept of opposites. At least you probably already knew that. It's just a nice quick review for you. And that's how it's done.